Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Peace and blessings upon you all. Dear students, today we talk about the factorial program, what we had done in the last program, but this time around we use the recursions. What is the recursion is when a procedure calls itself, right? That's called as a recursion. So here we have simply, uh, we have a num db of data type data byte and that's five in it, hexadecimal five. Okay, and then there is a fact which will have the answer. Okay, and um, that is dw and we are not assigning it right now. Then dot code, then we've got a main proc. And in a main proc, we have a boilerplate code, okay? And we put in ax1, so that when we multiply with the ax, it uh, does not have any other thing because it could have here the address of the data segment ax. So initialize with the one because we want to multiply uh, all the time with the ax. So if there is one, one multiply with anything is that thing. If I wanna multiply four with the ax, four into one is four. So it doesn't matter for us if we have a one in it. So then <clears throat> we move the num, whatever the num is, that is five, into the BL register, and in a BH, I put up zero. So in a BX register, I have the number. Then I call the factorial program. I call this factorial procedure, which is here. Okay, this is a factorial procedure, the proc. Okay, and now here, if, if you could see, in between this factorial procedure, there is inside the call to itself. So what are we technically doing is, this is what is called the recursion, because you are calling from here back to yourself, okay? So when you call yourself, basically this much is left out. This much is still to be done, because what was happening is here is you have, uh, this is a factorial, for example, program, okay, this is this, is this procedure, from here, it's calling to itself. So it's again calling to itself. So it's again running the same uh, factorial procedure. And here, you're again calling to itself. So that means you're again calling to the same factorial procedure, okay? So what is happening, let us show it on the, let me show this thing on um, the one note. You will understand it properly, what's happening. Before I explain it, how it works, Remember that in AX we have one, and in the BX is the number. BL num BH zero, that means in BX I have a number, right? And in AX I have one, and in BX I have number before I called the factorial. And the result will be later on the AX, so that I drop into the fact and then print it. Okay? So I have AX me number, hai, AX me one, hai, or BX me number, when I call the factorial. Ko. So, what I'm saying is, I have in my, in my, uh, in the BX is actually the five, the number, and in AX is one, right? That is before I call the factorial. So in a factorial, when the factorial program runs, what will happen is this is the code of a factorial program, this much, okay? Now what I'm doing is here, factorial proc starts, it compares BX is one, is in BX one, but I have got in BX five, right, the number. So is BX1? No, it is not. So jump on if, because I have to get out of this factorial program sometime, that is done by this, because if the BX hits one, wo intizam hai aapko bhaagne ka, wapas bhaagne ka. So then what you go for, jump on equal, jump on JE means jump on equal, that if BX is equal to one and that is true, then you go back to here. Then you go to the go back, right? To this label, where you will return and it will return the program. You will come back. Right now, it is false, right? Uh, go back, uh, I can't, cannot go to this go back and return because BX is not one, it is five. Now what I do is I put up on a stack, push BX. So I will push on the stack this five, whatever is on the BX. Then I decrement BX. Now BX becomes four. Now BX becomes four because BX was five. So I'm decrementing BX here. So BX becomes four. Now, what I'm doing is I am calling call factorial. I call to itself. I call myself. That's what recursion means. Okay. And I could not do right now these things. Okay. These instructions are still to be done because I am calling here to itself. I'm calling to itself. That means our, what I'm doing is I'm calling to another factorial 
the same copy of this factorial program where I need to do the things. Okay. So here when it enters, it says compare bx with 1. For this factorial program, what is bx here? The for bx for this is 4, right? Because it has gone here 4, decremented. This, this factorial decrements at 4. Now, for this bx is 4, it is saying compare bx with 1. Is it equal to 1? No, it's not equal to 1. So what it will do? It will push bx. It will push bx. So it will bx is 4, so it will push on a stack 4. So this is my stack, okay? I am having a stack here. On stack, I have firstly this, this push it 5 and this factorial push it 4. And the, these instructions after the call factorial are to be done. Okay, when it comes back, it has to done these things. Right now, it decrements bx. So bx becomes 3. Okay, and it calls factorial program. So that means it calls to itself again. So it calls another copy of the factorial. Let it let that be this one. Okay. Let me put it here for this one. So it, because it calls itself, so it's again running the same factorial program. So when it, because it's calling itself, so it's calling factorial again. So it's again comparing bx. What is the bx for this guy? For this guy, bx is now 3, right? Now bx is 3 for this. So it is comparing bx with 1. Is bx 1? No, it's not. So what it, it will never go to the go back. So it rather pushes the bx because it is not because it jump karega on equal to go back label. But because it is equal to 1k, because bx 3 hai, so it will push bx. So on a stack, bx will be 3. And here it decrements bx, so bx becomes 2. And it calls again the factorial, so it calls itself again. So another copy of factorial will run. Okay, say control v. Sorry. One second. So we have another copy of factorial here, and for this factorial, bx is now 2. What is bx now? bx is equal to 2 for this. Again, saying compare bx with 1, but bx is not 1, so it cannot jump to this go back label. It does this push bx, so it will push bx is this time 2, it will push 2 on a stack. Okay, it is pushing 2 on a stack, right? And then, uh, one second if it is coming or not on a screen let me get a little bit left okay now it pushes bx that is 2 on us and decrements bx now bx becomes 1 and it calls again from here to itself so another copy of factorial will run now control v i will say say that copy is this one maybe i put it here right okay anyways let me put it here uh, somewhere i have to put it somewhere after this so let me put it here so now this factorial program is going to run okay one second let me mm, clear this so for this factorial program what is the bx now okay so bx for this is now one right so bx for this is equal to one so <clears throat> when there is a one two three four five fifth time when you call the factorial itself here it runs itself it compares bx with one this time around bx is equal to one that is true so it will not do these two statements okay why because here jump on equal it will go to go back so it will go from here uh, to here so it, will, it is not going to do anything here so this whole thing will be skipped from this right this will not be done so it will go back to the go back, I mean, actually go back label where it actually returns. It will return where? It will return to the, the program which it has ca uh, called this factorial. So th that is this one. Okay. This guy has called it. So it will go exactly where from it was called. That is here. Okay. So that means what it do does here is it will execute the instructions after that, the call factorial. Because this much was left out. Okay. When it called the call factorial. जब इसने खुद को कॉल की ये बाकी था ना यहां पे तो ये वाला जो है लास्ट में जो रिटर्न होगा तो रिटर्न ये हो जाएगा वहां पे जहां से कॉल हुई थी इसकी कॉल हुई थी यहां से ठीक है ना तो इसके बाद जो इंस्ट्रक्शन है वो एग्जीक्यूट होगी व्हाट इज दैट दैट इज पॉप bx सो व्हाट इज इन द व्हाट इज इन द व्हाट इज इन द स्टैक दैट इज 2 सो 2 विल बी पॉपड ओके दैट विल बी स्टोर इन bx सो so bx विल बी have 2 that is already here as you know bx will be have 2 now and 2 is multiplied with the 
because mal bx will do what when say mal bx mal bx means ax is equal to ax into bx we know when you say mal bx it's actually bx multiplied with the ax okay so in we know in the beginning ax is the one okay we know ax is one so what will happen here is one into in the bx at this time it is popped from the stack two so one into two that is two so i have a two in my in my ax now now ax will be updated to two okay and it returns here now it returns where will it return it will return who has it uh, who has called it so it, it is being called from here so okay so it will return to this point and starts doing after that instructions so that is pop bx it will again pop bx now 2 is popped now what is on the stack that is 3 now 3 is popped into the bx and mul bx means whatever is in ax what is in x2 multiply so 2 is in ax and multiply it with the bx that is 3 3 into 2 is 6 so 6 will be now in my uh, ax right now i will have in ax 6 so x will have 6 after this and after that the instruction we have is return so it will return where from it was called it was called from here okay so it was called from here so it will do after the instructions after that that is pop bx now pop bx jab karega so what is 3 pop ho gaya ab stack mein kya hai 4 so i have this is popped this is popped now in stack i have 4 and 5 right Now, what will be popped from the BX that is uh, from the stack that is 4 that will be dropped into the BX and mul BX means whatever is in AX multiply in AX there is 6 and multiply the BX now because you have put the 4 in it 6 into 4 is 24 now AX will have a value of 24 right and I don't have this thing because the 4 is popped now now on the stack it's only 5 left now it is done with pop bx mul bx now it will return ret return where jahan se isko call hui thi wo ye hai that is pop bx so it will it will return here and start doing pop bx okay so it will come here and start doing this instruction which instruction after the factorial so it has to do this much okay it has to do this much and what it will do is it will first do pop bx what is in bx 5 so bx mein 5 jayega mul bx whatever is in ax that is 24 24 into 5 5 for 20 5 to 10 and 12 what is 120 so in ax now i will have the 120 and that is the factorial of the 5 and then it will return and it will return back to the main program who has called it the main program has called it main proc has called it so it will return here the, the where it was called the first time from the main proc okay uh, so in the main proc it will now after uh, it will come here to line number 16 that is this one okay where it what will it do here it will do whatever is in ax that is 120 drop it into the fact that is this variable okay and i have the fact now which is having the answer of the factorial okay just emulate it okay you can do stepwise stepwise emulation and all I will say simply run it it will do all of those things and you can see the stack you can see how it goes from where just run single step when you run single step you will come to know where from it has gone and come and all that okay so if you see the variables here in the variable I got the fact 120 in num there is 5h the in factorial there is 120 if I say here also the sign there is a 5 integer and in fact fact i got a 120 answer there's a factorial of 5 does it make sense so but you do one thing aapko isme step wise karna you do it step wise okay step by step here emulate then do step by step by step by step you will understand ki code kahan se kahan ja raha hai aur factorial ke baad ho kya raha hai it is calling to itself okay aur jab hum push kar rahe hain yahan se to we are using the stack okay okay one more thing I should do is because uh, I should create a stack here uh, at 100h dot stack at 100h okay otherwise it will create of its own at 0h okay so now it will create a stack for us at 100h that's it 
So simple thing is in a factorial program, you have you call the factorial from the main program, okay, main proc, and then when the first time it is called, it will compare the bx with one. First time it is five, then this is the condition where it will return. Then it pushes that bx on a stack. So first time it's pushing, 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 and decrements the bx for the before I call the next factorial. उससे पहले कि ये five को four बना देगा, and then when you call the factorial program, it will again it has to again run this factorial proc. So जो पहली वाली call है उसका pop और ये बाकी है. ये कोड भी करना बाकी है जब ये रिटर्न हो जाएगा तब ये बाकी काम करेगा ठीक है ना जो मैंने आपको उसमें दिखाया ठीक है आप इसको एक दो बार देखें और इसको जब तक आपको समझ नहीं आती है इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चंस यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन द ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ओके सो सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम अंटिल देन मा सलामा